So, Lewis, apart from the title, what has been your favourite moment of the year? Apart from the title, um, shoot, best favourite moment of the year, I think, would probably be probably be my home Grand Prix, winning in my home Grand Prix, yeah. you know, with all those fans. It's, you, you can see, you saw yeah, how crazy exactly it is. It is yeah. it, there's nothing like it. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, so, Valtteri, what's been uh, the best memory, your best memory of the year? Well, I have to say my first win. You first know, win. you know how it feels. Yeah, yeah, of course. And for me, it took more than 80 races yeah. to achieve it. So you killed it, though. It was a special one. Yeah, so I'll really never forget that. It was awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So, for you, where's been the best place you've been to walk the dogs? Best to place I've been to walk the dogs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, um, Cabo, Mexico. Yeah. Walking down the beach there and oh, yeah. the sunset and that, it's like yeah. amazing. Dogs love it. Yeah, the yeah. dogs love the beach. Yeah. Roscoe hates the sea, but Coco loves the sea. <laughs> so like Ro Roscoe walks like if I'm walking down, Coco's in the water and Roscoe's over there, like staying as far away from me yeah. as possible. <laughs> um, yeah. Has anything made you really angry this year? You made me a few times very angry, beating me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I made you angry. Uh, I think you know maybe you know we, we played PlayStation in Monza. Remember? Yeah. You beat me in the game. Yeah, yeah. That, that made you angry. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't really beat you. Was yeah. it that stupid no, game no. we were playing? No, I was just joking. <laughs> but you beat me fair and square this year. So. But in the season. Yeah. yeah, that must be it. You on track. But you get so. angry at me. Not really, no. No. You know me. I don't yeah, yeah, of course. Angry, it was just angry because uh, you want to do... Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, yeah. It'll be the same. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Actually, it was a little bit different for me when, when you won in uh, in uh, Russia. Mm. I knew it was your first win mm. and you just killed it all weekend. So, and yeah. I was I was hoping that... Because I think I was I had to start further back or something like that. I had a gearbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something, yeah, something like, like that. that, yeah. So I was kind of like, I was hoping that you would, you would get them. You know, so it was kind of yeah. a weird position to be in to yeah, like... Yeah be wanting someone else to do well you know yeah, yeah. but um, don't get me wrong because i was it all, so. no 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 yeah, no no i understand, yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah. Um, so what's been the most emotional moment for you i think the most emotional uh probably the most emotional moment was um equal and edson center's polls yeah because just i remember as a kid man, montreal was, montreal yeah, yeah. yeah and i hadn't thought about it before i did and then i did the lap and then afterwards, and I realized I'm, I've had yeah. the same amount of poles as him, which is yeah. just freaking. It's, I know it's weird because I, I also equaled Michael, but as a kid just growing up, it, I don't know how. Who was your favorite driver when you were? Well, for me, it was Hacking. Hacking, of course. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and he was a legend. Yeah, yeah. You know, At that time, he was the only guy who could really compete with Michael. Of course. Uh, that was cool. Yeah, yeah. I remember um, when he shunted that uh, Imola. 95. Yeah, it was at Imola, wasn't it? Um, Adelaide. Was it Adelaide? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was the last corner at Emma. Or maybe it was that, yeah. yeah. And I remember how emotional he was about that. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, but he's... he's, he's what do you mean that shot? Yeah. Where he was crying. Yeah, I think that was the Hockenheim. Yeah. What corner was that in Hockenheim? Was it Chicane? Or was it Monza? I don't know. Well, we need to learn history better. Yeah, I, I thought it was a Chicane. And he just lost the back end. It was yeah. definitely a Chicane. Yeah. So I thought it was... That's why, for some reason, I thought yeah. it was similar. Um, what's uh, what's meant the most to you this year? What's meant the most for me? Well, I, I think feeling the support from the whole team. You know, um, I had pretty difficult races, and uh, I felt myself that I was kind of underperforming and not meeting the targets of the team, performance-wise. But still feeling the support, you know, from the whole team, every single member. Um, I think that's been the most important, and it's only my first year in the team, and it's. Uh, we're still all growing more together, so it's, it's yeah, really yeah. cool. Great. Uh, what's made you laugh the most? What's made me laugh the most? Yeah. Um, what's made me laugh the most this year? Uh, you know when you sometimes you feel like you haven't laughed so hard? You know sometimes you have something happens and you laugh so yeah. much it hurts? Yeah. And But you know you haven't done it for a long time? Yeah. I think for me it would be... Um, I, I got a, I, I had know this comedian, and he uh, when I, when I was around him, he put, he did some joke, and he, he just took the crap out. He, he was taking the mick out of me. Yeah. <laughs> it made me laugh so hard. 
that you could actually laugh at yourself. Okay. But the stuff he came out with, his name's Kevin Hart. You know Kevin Hart? Okay. I don't know why. Okay. Um, but he would say some stuff to me, and I was just in tears. But it was taking the mick out of me. Yeah, you know, it was, yeah. he was saying all these different well, things. Good that you could laugh. Yeah. <laughs> but it was just so yeah. funny, anyways. Yeah. He was saying about anyone, anyway, but that was probably it. Yeah. Um, okay, here's a good one. Uh, where's the best sauna you've ever had? Well, it must be at my own lake house. You know, okay. uh, I finished the lake house in 2015. Okay. And for the first time having a sauna in their own, very own sauna for the first but time. But do you have to like pick the special wood or so, is yeah. there special stoves? Yeah, 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 exactly. So the sauna itself, um, the wood, wood burning one is always a better one. The wood burning one. Yeah, and uh, you need to always choose the right size for the right size of the sauna. Okay. So, you know, it just doesn't get too hot and also the old air ventilation, everything needs to be perfect yeah, yeah, to make the humidity perfect. Yeah, you yeah. Know? And uh, then you choose the colors for the you interior, have the, the rocks lighting. On the top, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And all the lighting needs to be just right. On, so, yeah. I need to get myself a yeah. good sauna, man. I, I haven't really done, I have to say this year I haven't been on, I think maybe in a sauna once. Oh, yeah, really? Only once. Yeah. But been much. I need to do, <laughs> I need, yeah. yeah. Well, I, what I love about Finland is when you go in the sauna and you go in the lake. Exactly, that is cool. Ooh. Especially in the winter. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you guys are crazy. <laughs> I mean, it is really nuts. Yeah. <laughs> when you walk down, I used to go in Aki's sauna and then yes. you walk, come out, you feel so fresh and then you get in the lake. The lake was the worst thing ever. That feels like... But afterwards, it's amazing. Oh, I, get the, I just remember the pain when I get out of how cold I was. But then you get in the hot getting back in the sauna and it feels amazing yeah, it is. Um, so it's yeah good. that's why that's why you guys are so healthy yeah so I sum up the season in one word or the year in one word um, which had like a pretty good word my vocabulary is not the best um, how could you say epic yeah. how, how about you I mean it's a bit different. I would like to do, use two words. Um, mixed feelings. Okay. Um, you know, I had some great moments um, yeah. with this first year with the team and everything. But my first win, first ball. But then in the end, there was many times I didn't feel feel so good in the car and, and so on. So mixed, you gotta, mixed feelings. You gotta remember that this year is your first year within this team. You know, already I remember moving, you know, from McLaren to to, to Mercedes, and it's just. There's such a big list of things you have to get on top of. Building new relationships with people is not easy, you know. Who all they probably all have expectations. So to arrive and meet those expectations and the feelings that you will have for a year, man, it's I know how hard it is, and so you should not take that for. Uh, you yeah. should take not, uh, acknowledge that. You know, it's yeah. you've done amazing. You you won in the first like four races, I yeah, think yeah, it was. So course. you've done an exceptional uh, job this year, and of course I know you want to. You want to always do better. That's natural, and that's what's going to drive you to do much better moving forward. Yeah. So, thanks. I just wouldn't be. I know the best thing for us is always to be hard on ourselves. Yeah. But I think you should always. What I've learned over the years is always to make sure you try and make sure you look up, uh, look at the positives yeah, and leave the negatives behind. Yeah. Next year you're going to come back. You know the team. You know the car. You don't have to learn all that stuff at the beginning exactly. of the year, and you can already start on the right foot. So. Agreed. I know it's going to be a tough, yeah. tough battle with us next year for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for this year. That's no a good, good one next year. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Keep those. Keep those. <laughs>